Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope everything is good and great and wonderful. I am back from my trip to Ikea with the girls today. We picked them up at like noon. We went to Ikea. We bought mm, a couple of dressers, some nightstands. Uh, we had to order one because it wasn't available. Um, had to wear a mask the whole time. I have an old RZ mask, thankfully, so I wore it around. And... Um, I came back, had to switch vans. I had to borrow my parents' minivan. And let me tell you, uh, I've never felt like a dad more than I did today driving a minivan at 65 miles an hour down the interstate. <laughs> uh, so that went okay. And I came, I just got, I've, I built Keely's dresser because Keely has a cat that she brings with her when she comes over. And I'm allergic. So he stays in her room. So I went and built her dresser first so that I could bathe. And then I wouldn't be itchy all night. So I did that. And now we're now I'm good. Now it's like 9.30 right now and I'm recording this. And I want to kind of touch base on what I talked about yesterday. Because when I talk, whenever I have these kind of, um, I don't want to say depressing, but when I tell you that things aren't going great in my world, uh, I always get some interesting private messages, interesting emails. Um, I get a lot of support and a lot of love, and I really appreciate that. It means the world to me that you care. But I want you to know that I'm okay, you know, that that if I wasn't okay, I doubt there would have been a video, right? If I was that bad, I, I, I wouldn't have done it. I, I wouldn't have made a video. And I've been through a lot in the four years that we've been doing this, and I haven't missed episodes because of me feeling bad yet. So uh, I'm okay, but I really appreciate all of the kind messages. I get some wonderful emails, so thank you. You know who you are if you emailed me. I appreciate that. I'm not going to call people out. But I want to tell you, I, I know there's some confusion when I talk about M, uh, because I haven't really talked about M. I mean, I, I've told you that there's this person in my life. Um, M, is, um, M is my girlfriend. M has been in my life now for a couple of years. Uh, her name is not M. I'm just calling her that because she uh, she wants to be private and she wants to stay that way, and I respect that. She came into my life a couple of years ago, and just kind of stayed, you know. And the, at first, we were just friends. We just hung out, uh, played lots of games together. She loves video games. Um, she, at that time, she liked board games, but she hadn't played the kind of board games that I own. So we I started introducing her to a lot of the board games, and she loves those. And um, and she just kind of, we just kind of slowly became, you know, more. Um, and she is uh, an amazing person. When she stepped into my life, my life was a complete disaster. You know, she came around about a year after the girls moved out and my house was a complete wreck. Uh, my finances were a complete wreck. I was a complete wreck. And she said, you know what, we can fix this. It's all fixable. Let's do it together. And I said, okay. And just as a friend, you know, at that point, we were just friends, just hanging out. And she came over and started cleaning my house. She started helping me organize. She started helping me purge. She started helping me fix my finances and get a budget set and get things in order so that I could pay all of my bills and get caught up. She helped me set up savings and helped me put money into that. She's helped me reconcile all of my feelings about myself and my children and all of the guilt that I carry about all of that. And she's helped me come to a lot of really, really, she's, she's helped me come to conclusions that I might have achieved on my own, but it probably would have taken infinitely longer, right? She's, she's really, she stepped into my world big and made a huge impact in just a couple of years. And... I can never, I can never repay her for that. You know, I try to be, I try to treat her as best as I possibly can. I try to do everything that I can to make her world simple and safe and, and loving. And, you know, uh, I, I give her her space, you know, but unfortunately there's something wrong with me, not with us, with me. And I go through these periods of intense, almost, um, just, 
I start to question everything. Self-loathing? Apathy? Not apathy. Uh, low self-esteem is probably part of it. There's a whole lot of it that gets tied together, and it starts to make me really question um, who we are as a couple. You know, she is an amazingly beautiful woman. Um, she is young, and she doesn't have... Um, she doesn't bring a lot of, you know, baggage with her. She has no children. She has no bills. She has no debt. Um, she has a great job. Um, she has a very strong support network with her family. And um, I start looking at that and thinking, what am I, who am I in this? You know, I'm just dead weight, it seems like. And that's when I start to get, I start to really challenge why, why is this person so kind to me? And I don't know what it is. Uh, um, I would be I would be dishonest if I said it hadn't happened in the past in past relationships. It has. I've got. I've always. I've had these these periods of just intense um, self loathing, and it, it really makes it difficult to to be around. And um, you know. She powers through it, and she is a very thoughtful, understanding person and sits with me and talks to me about it and, and really calmly, for the most part, uh, walks me through it all. And without that, I don't know, I don't know, um, I, I don't know if a normal person, I, I don't want to say she's not normal, she's extremely normal, but I don't, I, you know, I don't know if a, <laughs> if a, I don't know what is, what part of her accepts that? Like, she's an amazing person for accepting me when I'm at my worst. Because my worst is very damaging. Uh, not physically. I've never, ever, ever been that way. But um, I can be very damaging to myself, emotionally damaging to myself. And it can be very frustrating for her. So thank you for reaching out and wishing me uh, the best. I knew that today was going to be a day with my girls and that we were going to have fun and we did. We had a great time together and I feel really relieved. Uh, em and I had a wonderful, wonderful conversation um, that really nailed down a whole lot of things and helped me really work through a whole lot of things yesterday and a little bit today. Um, and then she went home for the weekend, so I won't get to see her again for a couple of days, but um, I'm okay. It's good. Uh, when I talk about her I have nothing but positive to say, and when I talk about us as a, as a couple, I have nothing but wonderful feelings. So I have a very strong support network, and I'm very, very, very thankful that those of you who check in on me uh, regularly are, 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 you're also a part of my support network. <laughs> um, those, those emails, those private messages really mean the world to me. So thank you for that. Um, thank you for all that you've done. I'm going to go enjoy my weekend with the kids. It is 4th of July weekend. We are going to have a little cookout tomorrow. My parents might come over, we'll probably do some fireworks and a little, you know, hang out outside at the fire pit, that sort of thing. So that's, that's what I'm going to do. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I very much appreciate you. And I will see you again on Monday. Today's word you should know to sound smart is bicameral. It is an adjective meaning a government or parliament with two chambers or houses. With a Senate and a House of Representatives, the United States has a bicameral legislature. Bicameral. B-I-C-A-M-E-R-A-L.